Hello everyone, this is Quaku from Next Gen Windows, and today I bring you a quick look at the new calendar application on Windows 10. Right now this is in preview, obviously, and so uh, note that you're going to see some things that probably won't appear in the final version, or some things that will appear in the final version that you won't see here. So here we go. Uh, right off the bat, you can tell it looks completely different, completely overhauled um, than the other Windows app for Windows 8, the other calendar app, and it just... It, to me, it just looks cleaner in general. It looks much smoother interface. It looks much neater. Um, yes, it's not as, you know, as Windows Story Metro-esque, you know, like Windows 8 days, but it's just, it just works. And even if you were to use a touchscreen device, tablet, Surface, whatever, it seems to, it will work flawlessly anyway. Only thing that would, you would have a little issues with is maybe this small calendar here. But to be honest, you don't actually need to even work over here. This is just for an at-a-glance thing to jump to different times. So I can click this and it won't it won't change May 20 to 2015. It'll just jump to June. Then I can jump straight there on the calendar just like that. And uh, let's see, if I click the 9th, I should actually... No, I didn't click on the 9th, but it, it'd be really easy. It's really easy to actually work with it. So... What you'll notice right off the bat here is the interface. The interface is different. So you see the hamburger menu, the all uh, controversial hamburger menu here that Microsoft has. And the hamburger menu is not actually something that is uh, quite different. Um, the hamburger menu actually only consists of these elements here on the side. So it has your birthday calendars where you can turn off birthdays on your calendar. U.S. holidays, you can turn off of those if you live in the U.S. And then you have my calendar, which is going to be your calendar or whatever your name is. That will show up there so um currently it says 5 30 work even though i removed that from my in fact i can edit my occurrence here so let's let me do this actually you know what no let's edit the whole series so if i want to edit the whole series all i have to do i don't even have to click on it all i have to do is just hover over it and it'll say do you want to edit the series or occurrence the occurrence is just the one time it occurs the series is obviously wherever it appears in the series so if i click the series and i want to remove it i can hit delete and it removes it all from the series because I no longer have this job that I had. So there you go, and then all of a sudden, all of those uh, series of work are gone completely, and there now you're back to um, just your regular calendar. Sign lease, I can hit this, and I can be like, oh, if I've already done it. So if I've already done it, obviously I can hit delete, and now that that appearance is done because obviously I've already signed the lease for a house that I'm going into. So it's a really nice clean layout here. Um, you'll notice one here, if I go in the corner here, I'm going to go in order. You can hit new event. If I hit new event, you'll see that similar view that you had before. And then you can name the event. Let's say I'm naming it make a video. And then I can hit the location. I can choose to just do, let's do um, 2001 which is essentially Washington, D.C. Start time, we'll start at May. We'll end it and start at the same time. Uh, I can do choose whatever email it goes on. Um, and then we can choose the times or whatever. You can type in a little note. You can, I'm just going to type in gibberish. And then you can set people to jump into that, which is really cool. And that, essentially, the only people is me. And then you can set the, <coughs> you can set the reminder, uh, which it'll remind you however many however what time in advance before the event starts so in a week in advance um, a day in advance 12 hours 30 minutes and such like that um, you can show as it's uh you can show if it's a really busy thing or whether it's a free thing like whether you're free or whether um, you're out and it's an out of office thing just nice nice clean thing so i can hit save and close and then just like that for monday may 11th for me um which is today is at 6 30 p.m. I should make a video and that's exactly what I'm doing right now so it's a really nice thing so if I want to get rid of it you just click on it and hit delete and now it's gone and you don't have to worry about it ever again so that's a cool thing um, like I said I already went through this right here which is um, it uses your Outlook email if you want it to to sign into your calendar and check your holidays and stuff <clears throat> then you can also um, jump by day you can also jump by week. Uh, let me get some water. It's kind of like there you go. You can you can jump by day. You can jump by week. Um, by your work week. So work week is Monday through Friday. Um, you can go back to day. So just Monday. Your work week, which is Monday through Friday. Your entire week, which is Sunday through Saturday, or the whole month, which is you know Sunday, Saturday, all the way through the end of the month. So that's till about here so that's the end of the month so it's a nice way you can jump two things and you can click the day um, you can show two days so Monday and Tuesday 
you can click work week you can uh, and then it's just it's just really nice you can hit today if you want if I hit today that's today's May 11th so there you go you get that right there so let me hit day and hit today actually let me jump back to let's see if I can click anything oh yeah there it is right here so if I click this it jumps to Tuesday and if I hit today it goes back to Monday that's a really nice feature that they have and it's I really really enjoy using it I know I'm going to use it more but the one thing I tend to do with the calendars for uh, smartphones and stuff is that I tend to uh, I tend to use it on my smartphone to quickly add events and then if as long as I'm on the computer I can easily get the notification saying oh you got to do this soon and then I'm like okay so it gets me ready to get up and go do the thing so I tend to tie it into my smartphone first and then I see it on my computer I don't really type things into the computer um, and then you got the mail thing here which essentially allows you to compose a mail which I can't do here so let me actually hit X I can't actually do the mail thing right now because I haven't shown you the mail video so when we get into the mail video in the next one um, I will show you guys how the new Outlook mail looks like for Windows 10 but essentially that's about it last thing I'm gonna show you guys is the settings settings just allows you to set whatever accounts you're using so right now I'm setting my account you can add accounts you can um, the trust center which basically you can uh, personalize off, send information to Office to enable Microsoft to personalize your your experience. Uh, enable locally relevant content. Let Microsoft provide you with locally relevant content based on your activities and things. So I set that to turn it on. That way things in my area, I can know about it. And then you have about, which is just the mail and calendar version. I guess they're tied together. Um, so if I go to accounts last thing, I can click accounts. And it'll say, let me choose the account to sign into. As you can see, the preliminary icon was like an X box, like a box with an X on it, uh, no pun intended. And so the icon is obviously not complete yet. But these are the accounts you can sign into currently. You can hit advanced setup and do active exchange, active sync. You can choose internet email, which is your usual Yahoo, Gmail, Hotmail, slash Outlook, and whatever other email service you use, AOL. So yeah, that's about it so far for the calendar application. Um, there's it's a lot of new refreshments in it and it's something that I don't believe that businesses would have to change or train people to learn how to use it's pretty straightforward um, but yeah so my name is Craig from Next Gen Windows and you've just been taking a look at the first look of the calendar preview application for Windows 10 if you have any comments leave them in below and I'll catch you guys later peace